I want to see my abs. I want to make six figures or even seven figures a year. I want to have an amazing relationship with an amazing man or woman. What, like, how do you achieve? That's the result. And we so often focus on the result, but what we really, really need to focus on if we want that result is what do I do every day? What do I do every day that will lead to that result? What do I do every day? What do I do every week that will lead to that result? What's up, my friend? I'm health expert Ted Rice, and today I'm coming to you from Medellin, Colombia, where I've been for the past few weeks, and I'll be here for a total of two months, maybe even longer. Interesting, I get to stay in Medellin three months, and then I can extend it for another three months, so I could spend half of the year here. Uh, I have no plans for where I'm going next, just uh, some ideas, so I will be sharing that more in upcoming Real Talk Friday episodes. And by the way, if this is your first time listening to Legendary Life, what I say this is all about is it's about clearing up health and fitness confusion by breaking down science-based information on how to lose fat, prevent disease, and live a longer, healthier life. That's at least what's in the description. But on Real Talk Fridays, we dive a bit deeper. We get to the root of the mindset the emotional issues that stop us from succeeding in life. And that's what we're going to talk about today, the power of habit and why it's so hard to change. This episode is sponsored by Organifi. Do you want to know a secret that all my coaching clients follow? It's really simple, but powerful. Add vegetables into each meal. But let's be honest, most of us, including myself, don't eat the recommended servings of vegetables and fruits each day. So for those of us who are on the go or have trouble eating healthy, having a greens powder makes it easy to get your greens in every single day, no matter how busy you are. And that's why I use and recommend Organifi Green Juice, a superfood powder that you just add water to so that you can get your greens in even when you're on the go. The best thing about Organifi Green Juice is that it actually tastes great. But don't believe me, try it for yourself. And use the code TED20, that's capital T-E-D, the number 20, at www.organifi.com. That's organifi.com to receive 20% off your first order. But hurry, this is a limited time discount for Legendary Life listeners. Now, back to the episode. So I've been listening to audiobooks lately, and I finished a great one recently called Facing Codependence by Pia Melody. Highly recommend that if you want to understand why people, it's like, especially if you're on social media as often as I am, and you're like, why are people acting this way? What's wrong with them? Well, and you know, why do I act the ways that I don't want to act, even though I know I should behave better, but I, I don't you know, I can't control myself sometimes. Check out Facing Codependence by Pia Melody. Anyway, I finished that book and I was looking for something new. And I was looking at, there was a book that one of my friends recommended to me. There was another book, Atomic Habits, that I downloaded by James Clear. Everybody's just raving about it. And I tried listening to it. And James, I really like James a lot. I like his ideas. I think he's a great writer. I think he's smart. And I was listening to it and I actually like his narration, but there was something missing. There was something missing from it. And I just couldn't connect with it. I stopped listening to it. And then I started listening to Pema Chodron. Now, I don't know if you know Pema, but if you're a fan of Brene Brown, like I am, Daring Greatly, I mean, that's a book every single person should read. Pema's like a Brene, except, I mean, I would, I like her more. I, now, I really appreciate Brene Brown, so that's no slight to her. And I really appreciate her, the way she's gathered data to back up the things that she promotes, the ideas that she promotes. And when you listen to Brene Brown's books, and especially when she's narrating them, you just get the sense, this is, this is a woman who's on a mission. Like she gets this at a deep level. If you watch her speak, if you listen to her books, 
that are narrated by her. And Pema is like that, except Pema has been around for a while. And Pema's story, I, I don't know where she's from originally, but she sounds like a Jewish woman from New York, like Queens, or I don't know, Brooklyn, Manhattan, or someplace. And she went and became ordained as a Buddhist monk. And she, although she is a Buddhist, she, and a monk, right? She talks about some of the lessons from Buddhism in a very accessible and down-to-earth way. And so I started listening to it. And she started talking about, you know, just like James Clear in his book, Atomic Habits. And the idea of the book is like, it's these little habits every day that, that you practice every day that lead to these great, big changes, monumental changes in your life over time. And Pema, in her book on getting unstuck, talked about similar things, talked about habits as well. And I wanted to give you my take on this because it is so important because James is right. It's like, well, I want to see my abs. I want to make six figures or even seven figures a year. I want to have an amazing relationship with an amazing man or woman. What, like, how do you achieve? That's the result. And we so often focus on the result, but what we really, really need to focus on if we want that result is what do I do every day? What do I do every day that will lead to that result? What do I do every day? What do I do every week that will lead to that result? Because here's the thing. It's so easy to change, we, or at least how we learn. It's so easy. We learn through practice, and we're always learning. Don't buy that idea that old dogs can't be taught new tricks. It's complete bullshit. Not only was it proven wrong by Mythbusters, but... Neuroscience has shown that we learn till the day we die, or at least we can learn till the day we die. But the problem is so many of us, we don't know how this process happens and we don't understand habits. We think habit, oh, I have a nervous habit where I bite my nails when, when um, you know, I get really anxious. When I'm watching a scary movie, I, you know, I have this habit, I bite my nails. Or I have this habit where you know, what, what's another habit? What's a habit that I have? I don't know. I can't think about it right now. But we, we, we view these habits. Oh, I have this habit where I always order dessert. I have a habit where I, you know, skip the gym if it's raining outside. I have a habit. So everything's a habit. By the way, sitting down and watching Netflix, binge watching Netflix is a habit. Making a, a decision where you're, I don't know, Eating the whole pizza instead of just a couple slices is a habit. So everything's a habit. Getting angry at your kids whenever they yell and, and you yell at them or when they make a lot of noise and you're like, damn it, kids, shut up. You're driving me crazy. That's a habit too. If that happens, anything that we do regularly is a habit. And what we need to understand about habits is that habits are ingrained in us. And another thing that we, uh, it's, it's ingrained in your nervous system. What does that mean? It means you don't have to think about it. It just happens. It happens reactively. Would you like dessert, sir? Yes, I would. Because <laughs> I say yes every time I get asked if I, have, uh, if I want dessert. I don't actually do that, just using it as an example. Although I do eat dessert often. So what we need to understand is that Everything that we do regularly, it's a habit. And all of our habits happen unconsciously. We don't have to think about them. It takes very little effort. It's part of what cognitive psychologists would call hot cognition. I've talked about cold cognition and hot cognition a lot in the past. We'll talk a little bit about that today. But as part of your hot cognition, you've trained it or your parents helped train it into, into your nervous system so that it happens by default. And so once in the journey of life, in the journey of self-development, really, we start to realize, okay, so all of these things that I do that are habits, right? I have a habit where I check my email way more than I should, or I'm working and then I check my Facebook to see who's like my post or left comments. It's a habit. I check my phone all the time. I'm sitting at dinner. I'm checking my phone all the time. Now, I don't, 
I have kind of uh, the first two habits I mentioned, but I don't check my phone during dinner when I'm talking to people. That one, at least I don't have, right? So these are all habits. So once we get aware, like, okay, these are habits, how do I change them? And the, how we change them is quite easy, right? It's quite easy. We just need to practice a different habit. So if I'm checking my phone all the time, I have to have the habit of not checking my phone. But the problem is it takes conscious effort to do that. It takes conscious effort to say, I have this impulse, this habit that's coming up because I've trained it so many times and I want to give into it. It's like an itch that you just want to scratch and the itch kind of gets worse and it takes effort to overcome that itch to not scratch it. It takes effort. And herein lies the problem. So many of us, we have so much stress in our life. We're not sleeping enough. We say yes to too many things. We don't have any time for ourselves. You're busy driving the kids all around to play dates and sports and to things that really some of which they need, but probably half of which they don't. And you're on edge and you're trying to adopt new habits. And guess what? Once the stress comes up, what do you default to? You're Default programming, of course. And what's your default programming? It's your habits, the habits that you already have in place. Now, if those habits aren't serving to move you towards what you want in life, then you're going to remain stuck. And that's why I love James Clear's book in the sense that it dives into so so many important things like, hey, it's these little habits that you do every day. But why it lost me is it's not deep enough. And that's not completely fair to say because I didn't even listen to the whole book, but I just, he started talking. I'm like, this isn't deep enough for me. And that's why I switched to getting unstuck. And Pema talks about like, talks about this, talks about this, right? So we have these things in our life. Maybe you're listening to this podcast and you've got, you've got weight to lose. You've got fat to lose, but you have all these habits in place. And the more you repeat the habits, the more they become ingrained and the more effort it's going to take to undo them. And that's probably why we say that it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. It's not that it's hard that their brain won't learn. It's hard emotionally to get the the effort up to make it happen. And what Pema talked about in Getting Unstuck is she talks about this. She says, everybody has like scabies, right? And if you, I, I don't know, I've never met anyone who ever had scabies, but it's a disease where if you scratch it, it spreads. And what you really need is to get some ointment to heal it. So, but you may not know that. So you're busy scratching, you're busy scratching because that's what feels good in the moment to you. Someone cuts you off on the road. You're like, hey, fuck you. Your kids start yelling. You're like, shut up, you little Mm, you know, <laughs> you have these things and it feels good in the moment or it couldn't, maybe it's nothing like that. Maybe it's like, oh, I'm a little stressed. Let me eat some ice cream. feels good in the moment. Well, I've already had three slices of pizza, but let me have a fourth or maybe even a, even a fifth. Let me just eat the whole pizza. feels good in the moment. But if you do those enough, they lead you down a road where you're scratching the itch and it's spreading. It gets worse over time. And then you find yourself, to use the example with weight, you find yourself 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 pounds of weight or even more. You're like, how did I get like this? Well, you're scratching the itches. You're scratching the wounds and it started spreading. It started becoming more intense. And then you show up and you're like, hey, I keep you know, I keep doing these things and it's getting worse. You go to the doctors and he, he or she, actually, I prefer seeing women doctors. She says, hey, listen, you have scabies. If you scratch it, it's going to spread. What you really need is to take this medicine and apply it. And it's going to go away, but you have to not scratch anymore. And so the scratching has been, you know, what feels good for you in the moment, but leads to these long-term problems that show up in your health, show up in your relationships, show up as debt, show up as uh, lack of happiness and joy. And the medicine is dealing with the root problem. 
That could be for nutrition, really stopping like this nonsense with the quick fixes and the carnivore diets and the intermittent fasting and then the cutting out the carbs or just never eat, just eating clean and saying to yourself, I'll never have ice cream again, even though you know you're going to have it. And learning the principles, that's the medicine. The other medicine is doing something that you can consistently do instead of being this person who does these extreme things that you know you can't keep up. That's the medicine, learning the principles, learning how to do something that you can fit into your life and so that you can do it consistently instead of being 100% for 50% of the time, you know, you can bump it up to 80%, 100% of the time and get way better results and you can still enjoy yourself and you don't have to be perfect. That's another way of doing the medicine. Maybe the medicine is that you need help. You need to work with someone to help you with this stuff, but you keep on buying $100 PDFs or $300 courses or whatever, and it still never leads you to the place that you want to get to. It's just you do it for a little while and then you fall off. Do it for a little while and then you fall off. And so what is the thing then that helps us make the right decision to stop scratching the itch and to take the medicine. What is that thing? This episode is sponsored by Organifi. Do you want to know a secret that all my coaching clients follow? It's really simple, but powerful. Add vegetables into each meal. But let's be honest, most of us, including myself, don't eat the recommended servings of vegetables and fruits each day. So for those of us who are on the go or have trouble eating healthy, having a greens powder makes it easy to get your greens in every single day, no matter how busy you are. And that's why I use and recommend Organifi Green Juice, a superfood powder that you just add water to so that you can get your greens in even when you're on the go. The best thing about Organifi Green Juice is that it actually tastes great. But don't believe me, try it for yourself and use the code TED20, that's capital T-E-D, the number 20, at www.organifi.com. That's Organifi.com to receive 20% off your first order. But hurry, this is a limited time discount for Legendary Life listeners. Now, back to the episode. And so I would argue is this. And this is what Pema says as well. Do you love yourself enough to take the medicine and to stop scratching? Do you love yourself enough? It's a bit profound, isn't it? I had a call with a client recently and she, and and this happens with many parents. So I'll just talk about it in general. Parents love to say, oh, I do everything for my kids. And they say it, they're stressed out, they're tired, they're overweight, they haven't worked out in a week. And they say, oh, I do everything for my kids because I love them. I put them ahead of me. That's scratching the itch. Because what, what is the medicine? The medicine is that your kids don't really need the eight activities that you plan for them during the week. What they need is a parent who is emotionally stable and present. And you doing what you need to do to make that happen for yourself that's the medicine. Instead of saying, oh, I do everything for my kids. I keep scratching the itch, scratching the itch. I I take them here. I take them there. I throw them parties. I throw money at them. Uh, Okay. But that's not really what they need, is it? They need you. They need you showing up as the best version of yourself. And then the question becomes, do you love yourself enough to make that happen? Do you love your kids enough in that particular instance to make that happen? Do you love your partner enough to make that happen? And that, my friends, that's really where the power of habit lies. That's how you change yourself. That's how you start to get yourself going in another direction because the information isn't enough. And to use a less deep example, I'm in Colombia, as I've shared with you. People speak Spanish here. (laughs) They're supposed to speak Spanish. It's the language of the country, language of the city, right? And I said to myself, you know, I'm going to learn, I'm going to do Spanish lessons every single day. I can't take coaching lessons, which I'm going to do, but I have a program that I've downloaded and that's awesome called the Pimsleur method, in case you're interested. And 
I could do that every single day and it'll get me speaking Spanish every single day. And I've been in Miami my whole life. So I, I, I've learned fast. I've been around Spanish my whole life, been taking Spanish programs. All I need to do is something every day, just 30 minutes every day. Now it's was not because I didn't love myself or something like that. It was because I just didn't have a strong enough why. Because it was, it's not really making my life miserable, at least not at the moment that I don't speak sp better Spanish. But it's something that I really want to do. At least I was telling myself that. I really want to learn another language. It's going gonna, it's gonna to allow, open up a whole new experience of life to me, a whole new world for me. It's going to allow me to look at the world in a different way through another country's and culture's language. I want that. I want to have deeper connections with the people here in Medellin. Spanish is necessary for that. And what changed everything for me was I had a talk with a friend, a really good friend, even though we haven't known each other that long. And he was explaining all this stuff to me about how his experience here in Medellin, because he's a fellow, actually, health and fitness coach, how everything has changed for him since he learned Spanish. And he's at an intermediate level. He isn't at an advanced fluent level, but, and all of a sudden, boom, I got more committed. And I've been doing my lessons every single day ever since, because there was something about that conversation with him that made me more emotionally invested. It got me into the idea that I'm training my brain through learning a different language. I'm showing myself love and exercising my brain by learning a different language. And I'm in this place where it'll be really hard for someone in the middle of Ohio, uh, where everybody speaks English to practice another language. But here I am immersed in the culture. Why am I not taking advantage of it? After that conversation and just really emotionally connecting with all the important reasons why I want to do it and, and the things that will happen if I do it, was enough to get me on track and motivated to do this. I said, you know what? Every single day while I'm making my breakfast and eating my breakfast, I'm going to do my 30-minute Spanish lesson because it takes me about 30 minutes to make and eat my breakfast. Boom. That's what I'm going to do. And I've been doing it every single day since then. And so if it's a deeper issue, it might be a self-love issue. But if it's a more superficial, nice-to-have thing, or at least it seems nice to have, but you want to make it a must have, you've got to get deeper with your why to get the level of commitment, the emotional level of commitment that you need to show up and make it happen. And so I want you to think about that. Are your issues more deeper? It's a self-love thing, or is it kind of like an upgrade for you where you have all these things that would be nice to do, nice to uh, have a different, you know, be, be able to speak a different language. It would be nice to play a musical instrument. It would be nice to learn the guitar uh, and get back to playing the guitar. It would be nice to learn to meditate. It would be nice to go and take dance classes. It would be nice to go and do some improv acting or maybe Toastmasters. You've got to commit You've got to get that emotional level of commitment by understanding, emotionally building up those emotions that say, yes, this is what I need to do. And you got to have people in your life to reflect on that stuff. At least that's how it works for me. Because without that conversation with my friend James, I don't know if I would, would have taken it as seriously. I was just in a rut with uh, not, not in most areas of my life. I mean, I'm leaner than I was now. Uh, when, when I shot those photos, my before and after photos, doing great in that regard, doing great in so many ways. My business is doing great. But that way, I wasn't, uh, I was in a bit of a rut and it took a peer, like a positive peer group to make, help me make that change. So I want to ask you now, who are you surrounding yourself with? Who are you working with? Are your friends building you up and getting you excited about progressing in life and stepping up and going after the next level? Or are they just saying, oh, you don't need to do that. Oh, it's really hard to do that. Oh, you know, that be reasonable. Oh, I hate that. Be reasonable. What's reasonable? The way most people live, that's not reasonable. Soul sucking jobs in a lot of debt, not happy, overweight, not having very much sex, watching too much TV. That ain't reasonable. 
So I want to ask you that. Who are you surrounding yourself with? It's another really important. If you want to change your habits and have that legendary life that you know this show is named after, that concept, that idea that this show is named after, whatever that looks like for you, we have to have allies along the way. We've got to have people in our life who think the same way, or at the very least, don't drag us down. At least be neutral, please. But far too many of us, we have people who drag us down. That's why coaching is so important, or that's why finding a a peer group is so important. Now, you may say, oh, well, Ted, you're plugging coaching again. Hell yes, I am. It's powerful. I'm working with several coaches right now. It's powerful. I'm working with a therapist. I'm working with two coaches and one therapist. I practice what I preach. But I'll say this too. You could go and join free groups. Go to meetup.com. Get on Facebook. Find some groups, local groups. But do something to upgrade your peer group because if you want to change your habits, you've got to have the support, the social support to make it happen. So I'm going to leave you with that thought. I've been talking for a bit now, but it's something that I just uh, had to share because this, this idea, it's so simple to get our lives to the next level, but yet so many things get in the way and most of it's just being human. And most of it, if you want to see the person holding yourself back, look in the mirror, <laughs> unfortunately, or actually it's fortunate. Because uh, we've got more control and influence over that person in the mirror than anyone else in our life. So so it's actually quite fortunate. It's just maybe it's not unfortunate. It's just kind of ironic, a little bit funny, right? So that's what I want to leave you with. I want you to think about these things. I want you to, more importantly, take action on them. And I'll say this, if you are looking to upgrade your health and fitness and you've been working hard to achieve that and you're not getting the results you want and you're going 100 miles an hour, you're working out in the gym, you're eating healthy food, you're buying the organic and the grass-fed beef and the organic vegetables and fruits and doing all the things that you think are right, but your results just don't reflect it. I want you, if you've been listening to this enough, if you've resonated with my message enough, I want you to go to legendarylifeprogram.com slash apply. That's legendarylifeprogram.com slash apply. I will give you the knowledge that you need and you'll get results in the first week. I don't care if you've been stopped, you haven't seen results in the past six months or the past six years. I can help you break through that. I know how to do that. It's what I do. And if that sounds like something you want, you got to apply to the, either the one-on-one or the group program. But if you are a high performer and you want this handled, this is the opportunity. LegendaryLifeProgram.com slash apply. That's where you can find all the information to set up a call with me. No pressure, nothing to buy. If I don't think you're right for it, I'll let you know. If you don't think you're, you're right for the program or the program's not right for you, that's okay too. But if I'm telling you, if you're a person who's been working hard and getting results or not getting results you want, and you want results, I can help you break through in the very first week. I can give you results. That's how I am 100% confident in that. In fact, it's not really even that hard, to be honest with you, once you learn. It's like Thai food, just really quick. Like Thai food, if you taste it, it's impossible for you to figure out all the flavors. Impossible. You'll never, I mean, it must have taken a thousand years, if not longer, for Thai people to figure out all the different flavors that go together from all these exotic spices. But then when you learn to do it, you're like, oh, this is easy. That's what I do for you in my program. And again, Legendary Life program.com slash apply is a place to go if that sounds good to you. Have an amazing weekend. Love you. Speak to you soon.